So, I mean, for you personally, right, right around the period when like Resistance came out, uh, you know, you had Resistance, you had Echoes from the Foos. I mean, there was a lot of stuff you're working on that was really successful. The music industry can be very hit or miss. So when you're actually like on projects that do really well, do you feel like a personal sense of gratification? Like just personally, what is that like for you? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite self-affirming when you're working with people who are, A, who are, are great musicians and great bands and B, who you hold in very high regard. And when when they like your work, it, it, it's a great, yeah, it's a great feeling. It's like, it's what it's what you do it for. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm. you, you, well, I got into, I got into studios to, to be the best engineer that I could and, and, and work with amazing bands and make amazing records if I could, you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I feel very fortunate to have been able to do that. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, don't take it for granted. It's like really, I'm very, I'm proud of the work I do. Do you know what I mean? And, and sure. I'm glad that other people like it as well. So I mean, for you personally, how did you get into music business? What, what's your story? Uh, I, I started making tea when I was 16. <laughs> I started, I, I, I was lucky. I got a job as a tea boy at Trident Studios, which was uh, in, in central London. Um, so I started making tea there, and I was I was lucky because there was lots of great great people at that studio, um, like uh, Flood and Alan Mulder came from Trident, Mark Stent came from Trident, Steve Osborne came from Trident, lots of great engineers. So there were great people to ask questions hmm. from. <laughs> cool. So yes, I started making tea, asking questions, and worked my way up. That's awesome. Well, that's, that's a very British uh, story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome, man. 